Those of you that know me or have been with me on previous mission trips to the Dominican know that I really contribute to the spiritual part of missions as far as discipling. I'm a builder with a little bit of bulldozer attitude. Let's get her done kind of guy. Mercer and I arrived in La Rue late Saturday night, and Sunday we were at church with our hosts, Michael and Benter. From then on, I prayed daily and ministered to the four and sometimes five local boys daily and taught them as much as I knew about the Lord and our Savior. We also achieved great strides building the bunk beds and much-needed screens in preparation for our 2012 mission trip. First of all, thank you for your prayers. We felt your prayers. We and our baggage were also protected. Only a couple of things were stolen, but the things we needed most made it through. Our greenhouses that we built last year are doing great. The kale that is growing is thriving. Our greenhouse project last year was so successful, the locals decided to build a third one on their own. It yielded lots of healthy tomatoes. This was the previous source of drinking water before the well. The new well, which didn't dry up during last fall's drought, has been a much needed blessing. This being our second trip to Kenya, I knew a little of what to expect as far as witnessing the poverty, the hunger, the swollen bellies on the children, the many orphaned because of HIV, the dire living conditions. Sometimes it still does bring tears to my eyes, but I am glad of that. I don't ever want to forget. The poorest in America will never be as bad off as the poor in the third world. We take for granted fresh water that is available 24-7, electricity, paved roads. We are a people of great privilege. We should be the most thankful people on earth. I ask myself why God has allowed me to be born as an American rather than among the poor of Africa or Asia and to be blessed with such material abundance. Although it is easy to want to focus on the physical needs of the poor, the priority must be to the gospel. Man's greatest problem, his separation from God, can't be solved with a handout. A handout will never save a soul. We collected donations from Hope Chapel and others to bless the children of Gumo Primary School. Our trip coincided with their annual event called Education Day. The soccer uniforms were donated by the Women's Soccer Association in Honolulu. It was a rare and proud moment for these girls. We also handed out Girl Scout cookies that were donated from Charlie's 10-year-old granddaughter from West Virginia. Even the empty carton was of value to a child. On Education Day, everyone eats on this special day. It is a treat for many of the children who receive only one meal a day. Charlie showed the parents, teachers, and students how far Hawaii is from Kenya. They were amazed at how far we traveled. We presented a laptop computer that was donated by Pastor Ralph to the headmaster of Gumo Primary School. They literally saw this as a miracle to be receiving a computer for the school and praised God for such a gift. We hope to link Gumo Primary School with Hope Chapel Children's Church and a school here in Honolulu that wants to link with the Third World School via the internet. I have collected enough funds for them to purchase a broadband connection and three to four months worth of airtime. The children received the cards and letters from Hope Chapel Children's Church with great joy. The children enjoyed the jump ropes and bean bags that were donated from Hope Chapel's Children's Ministry. I continue to forge relationships with some of the women I met last year. Our hosts, Benter and Michael, godly people, pillars in the community, and whose hearts break for Raru, have big dreams for the community. They would like to use their house on the hill to glorify God and edify their community. There is hope for Kisumu. They welcome you in 2012. Start praying about it. Thank you, Hope Chapel, for all your prayers, and for my wife, Mercer, for all her support. Africa Mission Trip, 2012 September. Stand by for signups.